We are back with another tactic from the always amazing GYR, and today it is version two of his famous 4231. It's V2 of Swans Alona. It is here, ladies and gentlemen. In testing, we have tried this with Real Madrid. They were our elite tier test. They, of course, went and won absolutely everything as you would expect. We tried this in Germany with RB Leipzig. They managed to beat Bayern Munich to the Bundesliga title and secure a Pokal trophy as well. And we tested this down in the lower leagues for you guys because I know you want to see if it works with lower league teams. We tested this with Dorking. They went and got promoted from the Vanarama National League despite being predicted to finish in 21st. And this, ladies and gents, is how it looks with the Real Madrid team in it. Now, I will say before we go in and break everything down, this wouldn't be possible without G, so his links are down in that description below. Please do go and show him some love. He's got his Patreon there live now. If you do like his tactics, if you do want to show show him some support please go and do so via those links in that description anyway going through and breaking this tactic down this is the Real Madrid team in situ right here right now uh, and it's looking pretty darn good as you would expect from the Madrid team I think Bellingham in the cam spot is very very nice um moving into the breakdown though we have a sweeper keeper on support and defend uh, nothing additional on him at this time uh, moving into the defense then we have the fullbacks now they are both got slightly different instructions so we'll start with the right back that is a wing back on attack duty we take more risks cross aim near post uh, run wide with the ball and stay wider that is again going to give you the width in this team in the left back position of course we have Furlan Mendy he is also a wing back on attack with take more risks cross aim near post and run wide with the ball so he's just not set to sit as wide you allow Carvajal to push up and then Mendy will kind of tuck in when required in the two center back spots we have two ball playing defenders on defensive duty with the additional instruction of dribble more this allows them to bring the ball out from the back uh, and start your attacks it seems to work well in this year's uh, game you know which ones are the additional ones guys with the cog and the red circle and you go on here in the edit menu and you can see dribble more is selected for the center backs moving into the midfield uh, on the left hand side then we have Luka Modric he is a central midfielder on defend uh, with the additional instruction of close down more and tackle harder alongside him is Fede Valverde he is a box to box midfielder on support duty with the additional instruction to get further forward and tackle harder now he has get further forward to add another body to those attacking contingent and obviously cause the match engine a little bit of trouble uh, on the right hand side and on the left hand side we both have in uh, inside forwards on attack duty they have the exact same instruction set which is just roam from position just let them cause havoc let them be dangerous it works really really well the man in the middle is of course Jude Bellingham and he is an advanced playmaker on attack duty with the additional instruction of roam from position close down more and tackle harder then up front is the man the two-star man Hosselu in this team he is an advanced forward on attack with the additional instruction of tackle harder now you can see some of the results of this tactic 30 goals for Hosselu despite not being anywhere near the same standard as the rest of this uh, Real Madrid team 18 for Vinicius Jr 18 for Jude Bellingham 14 for Rodrigo 12 for Luka Modric 10 for Fede Valverde this tactic does really well at scoring goals but also sharing them around the team as well the tactical style guys is a custom Swans alona it does not matter which one of these you select. We usually select going with a clean slate or a Gagan press. And basically all G does is save it once he's happy with it and call it something different. It doesn't matter, please. The attack, uh, the mentality is an attacking mentality. And in possession, this is how we are set up, guys. Wide in terms of our attacking width. We're trying to stretch the play as much as we possibly can. We're passing into space and focusing play down both sides, left and right. And we are playing out from defense as well. A shorter passing directness and a slightly higher tempo. Low crosses into that final third. And we are running at the defense and being more expressive. In transition, it's pretty st uh, straightforward here. We are counter-pressing when possession has been lost. We are countering when possession has been won. And our distribution type is to roll it out to keep sure uh, keep uh, us in possession, basically. Out of possession, this is how we are set up. A high press with that line of engagement, a higher defensive line. We are triggering that press much more often, preventing that short goalkeeper distribution. And we are set to get stuck in. Now, obviously, if you are picking up several yellow cards, because some of these players do have tackle harder and get stuck in, feel free to turn get stuck in off leave tackle harder on the individual players that will have a much more better result
result if you are picking up several buckets. But to get this tactic working exactly as the main man intends, check out this video. It's the set piece guide that he has set up for this year's game and it works absolute wonders.